So why did I write this book? Well, when I first began work on this book at the end of 2008, the world was a very different place. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was around 9,000, but it would soon lose 2,500 points, about a third of its value. Layoffs were in the headlines, executives were hunkered down. So I turned my thoughts and looked towards the future. When the economy came back, I wanted leaders to have something that could serve them in good times and in bad. I recognized that a lot has changed since most leaders last thought about new opportunities. Technology has grown in leaps and bounds. There's a tremendous amount of globalization. Organizational priorities are changing. Sustainability is important. These new paradigms demand a new way of thinking. And as I reflected on my own evolution from an engineer to a practitioner to a thought leader, I recognized that doing both had helped me advance my career and it had helped my organizations be more successful. By contrast, I also noticed that many of the setbacks and disappointments that I had had or my organizations had had were caused primarily because of poor compromises. So the combination of the timing and my own experience and the experience of the organization that I was with fueled my desire to put pen to paper and really write down the best lessons that I had learned in the form of doing both.